Lewis Cole and his project Knower, making one of today's most inspirational multi-instrumentalists and singer-songwriters. Here's a video dedicated to his unique drum sound. Lewis Cole can't really be put into any existing category. He grew up playing and loving drums as well as Nintendo games and he studied jazz. He sings, composes and writes songs and plays many instruments, always blending extraordinary musicianship with humor. In 2009, he gained popularity through a YouTube video of him playing an original song called Bank Account. In 2010, he took his own work more seriously and released both his self-titled solo album and the debut album for his project with singer Genevieve Artadi called Nowhere, which we'll get to later. First, let's take a listen to one of his most famous solo songs, Fuck It Up. This song is a great display not only of Lewis Cole's ability to write songs and arrange them, but also his drumming. His funk-inspired and electronic-influenced style is equally recognizable as a bedroom-like sound, which is far away from hi-fi, yet also complex. Looking at his drum kits and setups, it's obvious that he doesn't depend on high-quality equipment to get his sounds. Instead, he often uses entry-level instruments and microphones for a raw sound that sets itself apart from today's often perfection-seeking internet musicians. That's also why he often plays the bass drum from a kid's drum set he once got off of eBay. This 16-inch drum can be seen in a number of his videos. We looked at our collection and chose a 16-inch Sonor AQX bass drum. Pascal put on some Remo-coded ambassador heads, tuning the batter head low and the rezzo head even lower. We also went for two large blankets inside of the drum, which take out any tone or sustain. Here's the kick drum sound. Lewis Cole often uses a 14 by 5 inch Ludwig Black Beauty snare, which features a nickel over brass shell. We used a 14 by 5 inch Pearl Sensitone snare with a similar construction and Pascal tuned the factory head of that drum to a medium high pitch. However, the tuning is intentionally not perfect. For muffling, we randomly added some tape in a typical Lewis Cole fashion. Here's how it sounds. For the toms, we used 12 and 14 inch toms from another Sonor set. The 12 inch tom doesn't need to be tuned because it's just a resting surface for the belt placed on top. The 14-inch tom is equipped with a clear Remo ambassador head and tuned very low. Pascal muffled it with some tape holding down a Vic Firth carton for pairing drumsticks. Take a listen. For cymbals, we used an 18-inch Zildjian A rock crash, just like the man himself, and added some tape on the bottom for a drier sound. In order to make a 14-inch A new beat hi-hat sound less professional, we went for an S-dark hi-hat bottom. And most importantly, we taped a 6-inch Zill bell to the 12-inch tom. To mic up this setup, we used two Biodynamic M90 Pro Xs as a mixture of overheads and close mics for the hi-hat and bell and the cymbal and tom. The bass drum is mic'd with a Biodynamic TGD70 Mark I on the batter side and an MC740 on the rezzo side for more low end. The most important microphone in this setup is the Biodynamic M160 we use as a worst mic. In its position above the bass drum beater and next to the snare, this mic captures a nice blend of the whole kit and gives us the crushed character we are looking for. With all of that in place, let's listen to Pascal's version of Fuck It Up. 
Another interesting musical project involving Lewis Cole is Nowhere, which is an electronic music duo with him and singer Genevieve Artadi. Nowhere even opened for the Red Hot Chili Peppers at one point. Founded in 2009, they have since released a number of albums. One of their most known songs is called Overtime. Listen to the live session from YouTube. The drum sound on this song is a bit more direct compared to Fuck It Up, as the band recorded in a smaller, less roomy space. Other than removing the tom with a zill bell, no changes had to be made for this drum sound. Pascal only redid the mix. Check it out. Be sure to keep an eye out for the full drum covers, which will be on YouTube soon. How did you like our recreation? What other drum sounds should we tackle in the future? Tell us in the comments. By the way, samples of both songs you heard in this video will be available for purchase on shop.artofdrumming.com. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see more videos like this from us. See you next time. <laughs>